I know what I'm doing. my airspace. You're gross. We're just trying to have fun. Well, grow up. Girls should be stewardesses, not pilots. Good evening. I guess. Yet, our orders are to take him alive. We will get him later. Spasista! 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 All right, Tommy. You're gonna lose the arms race and the foot race. No, Spasista! Spasista! Please! No, down! Oh, this is typical! You Ruskies always have to cheat to win! No! Please, you have to help me! Hey, you're a communist, you're beyond help! Those men! They are trying to kill me! Good for them! God bless America! Now you're hitting below the belt, green card. Oh, no. No, please. Please. This better not be a trick. No, he's not a trick. Come on. Okay. Thank you. Hammer. According to the embassy, this is Professor Bronsky. Ah, that, that, that's who I am. Well, if he's a professor, how come he doesn't speak English better? Professor, do you have any idea who these men were? I am sure they were the KGB. I escaped from Soviet Union three months ago. But I am not nuclear scientist. I am a humble agronomist. Well, you must be pretty valuable. They're very anxious to get you back. Yeah, what, well, you got a lot of unpaid bills over there? Charge too much on your Russian Express? Captain, don't you think we should call the CIA? No, no. The CIA could have the spies from the KGB. You can't trust any of them. CIA, KGB, IRS. The only one I trust is why, oh, you. Apparently, the professor is flying to Springfield for a top-level government conference tomorrow morning. Captain, flying to Springfield means two changes of planes. Planes mean airports, and airports could mean trouble, sir. She's right. They can lose your luggage like that. I must get to Springfield safely. Captain. I think we can get the professor to Springfield without using a plane. We'll use an alternative form of transportation that no one uses anymore. That's a good idea, Duro. We'll take a stagecoach. All right, shotgun. No hammer. I mean the train. That is an excellent idea, Duro. Oh, just what I always wanted, to be cooped up in a caboose with a crummy commie. <laughs> Okay, what you say now? Absolutely no one knows you're here. Professor Vronsky! Oh, it's in my tongue. But I know, it's Dr. Hammer. This is Dr. Johansson, a visiting lecturer from the university. Oh. She will be speaking at the conference. I'm from Oklahoma. Yeah, well, what are you doing on this train? Well, if you must know, I'm afraid of flying. I'm not afraid of anything. Except world peace. Sarah, where are you sitting? I had a berth three cars down, but apparently the train is overbooked, so... I, I wish I could give birth to you, but it is not possible. I have room in my compartment. You could always share with me. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. This way, please. Oh, well, I'll, I'll see you, Professor. I knew the railroad was having trouble finding passengers, but this is ridiculous. I hate to think I'm sharing my room with a cow. Yeah, well, I vowed I'd never do it again. Oh. What do you mean again? I told you I was married. Well, I'm sorry about this minor inconvenience, yeah. but they loaded this cattle car on by mistake. Yeah. It was supposed to be on the eastbound limit. Oh. Well, at least we'll have fresh milk, huh? Easy, big fella. Mm. Mm. Go 
Here we are. Hi. Put some clothes on. Why should I? Let me get back to the night. This is your compartment, sir. Ladies, please. Have a nice trip. What's wrong? I have claustrophobia. I have spent once ten years in a creepy room like this. Were we in a prison, huh? No. Luxury condo in Moscow. Oh, I must get some air. No! No way, Joseovich. I'll let you out there. You might get kidnapped. What, do you want your picture to wind up on a carton of borscht? No, no, no. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I must stay in compartment. But there are only two things that relax me. One is chess. What's the other one? It's sex. You will enjoy chess. It's good for nerves. When I became a cop, I had my nerves removed. Look at those lines. That is one well put together piece of machinery. Rimsky. Kostikov. Come in, Comrade Konkovich. Since you incompetents botched the kidnapping, I've been sent to oversee you. I will make sure the Professor does not reach Springfield. We will have him off the train by the time we get to Phoenix. I hope so. For your sake. Meanwhile, put these on. With these decadent bourgeois jackets, you can move around train without arousing suspicion. Now, practice being American baiters. How many in your party? There are 30 million in Communist Party. <sighs> Comrade, are we not all equal under communism? You're right. Forgive me. Two men sitting across a chessboard. We are not so very different from each other, Inspector. You forget, pal. I was born in the USA. Crown me. I am still not quite used to your American customs. What do you mean, like freedom of speech and the right to bear arms? Things you Ruskies don't have? The Russian people are the victims of their leaders. Just like you Americans. Shut up. Don't confuse me. Hey, let's play a game I like, huh? Target practice. What is that? It's a target. What, you never saw a target before? Oh, in Russia, we practice by shooting at dissidents. Uh, well, here we call them liberals. If, if you don't mind, Inspector, I'm too nervous to play. Fine. Okay. All right. Red square. Oh, it's too stuffy in here. I must get some air. You're right. It is stuffy in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go out and check and see if it's safe for you to get some air. Car, Skumsky. I'm sending you back to Russia. And then after a long vacation in Siberia, you'll return to peasant life, settle down with your 300-pound fiancé, and go back to your job in the cement factory. Hey, what's the matter? You're afraid of a little work? Lazy commie? So much for Glasnost. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Well, the tracks are messy, but the coast is clear, Bronski. Bronski? What are you doing? I lost my ticket. Well, where did you see it last? In the professor's pocket. Hammer, you didn't lose the professor. Hey, give me a break, Doro. Do you know where he is? No. Okay, well, I saved him last time. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Sorry, professor. That was reflex. <coughs> I had to get some fresh <coughs> air. From now on, <coughs> no one takes their eyes off the professor. Don't worry, Doro. I've got him. Hey, you keep this up, lady. I'm gonna put you in a chokehold. My place at eight? The professor's gone. You're right. I guess we'll have to wait till the next tunnel to get him back. Excuse me. Aren't you two next door? No. We're on our way to the Twins Convention in St. Louis. What's the next stop? The Twilight Zone? That's a funny place for a stop sign. Hammer, someone must have pulled the emergency brake to get the professor off the train. This is getting exciting, isn't it? What are you doing? Nothing. No, I just got to... No, here. Look, tell the conductor to get this thing going. I want to see if I can find the professor. Yeah. Calvin Crusher. Hey, this is no time to floss. Me back to Russia. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Misery loves company. There you are. I was beginning to worry. Would you care to join me for dinner? Oh, duh. Duh. Not me. I'm going to catch that comic and I'm going to make him play Russian roulette the hard way with a bullet in every chamber. Hammer! Hammer, wait. Don't you think our first priority is the professor? All right, all right. I'll eat. I hate to kill on an empty stomach. But this time, I'm taking no chances. Inspector Hammer, but is this really necessary? Let's go. Oh, wait. This is... Not here. You... No, you're... Come on, get... Hey, don't worry, I got the key. Gotta be here somewhere. I'm telling you right now, from now on, I'm gonna stick closer to you than a wet t-shirt. Oh, thank you, Inspector Hammer. What is this? From Russia with love? Professor, I don't understand why it is the Russians want you back so badly. Yeah, I mean, after all, the Union is friendly thing that could destroy America. There's no need. Hammer could destroy America all by himself. I have been thinking it could be a secret project that I worked on called Operation Squash. Operation Squash? That sounds disgusting. What do you mean, that they just would make us all eat squash? No, Inspector Hammer. Operation Squash is a plan to remove all the nitrogen from your soil. Without nitrogen, America's farm industry would collapse. It's collapsing with nitrogen. 
if Operation Squash succeeds, Russia will control entire world food supply. Well, I've had my supply, because I'm telling you, I'm stuffed. God, look at these people, will you? Look at this. There are people starving in Siberia, and you're playing around with your food? Wait, wait, wait. Logic must prevail. But wait, 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 let me think. It is. It is impossible. Hi, Sarah. Good night. Thanks again. like everything else made in the USA. Cheap, shoddy, and worthless. Okay, lady, that tears it. You can insult me, but don't you insult the American worker. All right. Stand up. Why should I? You just shoot me, and then I'll fall down again. feeling that woman isn't from Oklahoma. Okay, Drew, cover this exit. both use the same after shave lotion. Sledgehammer will continue in a moment. Yeah, see, that is a good color on you. Hmm. Makes your fingers look much longer. 
So they'll stay up with nothing. They will do anything. Incredible. A top agent dressed as a woman. Clever rascals. Yeah, it's going to be a hot day in Siberia before you get out of jail, pal. Or, darling, or what do I call him? He's not going to jail, Hammer. What do you mean? The Russians are desperate to get him back. They're already arranging a swap. Great. What do we get? More wimpy ballet dancers? No, they're returning one of our journalists. Oh, great. As if we don't have enough of them. You must be some kind of big shot, huh? Yes. My country's got a fortune on me. Hormone injections. Electrolysis and wardrobe. They spent all this money so you could be a KGB assassin? No. They spent it so I could enter Miss Iron Curtain Contest. They may have won it. Oh, you don't know.